I believe that we're spiritual beings having a human experience. My answer to that is, I believe, you've probably heard this before, um, are we human beings having a spiritual spirit experience or are we spiritual beings having a human experience? Mm. I, I believe that we're spiritual beings having a human experience. So if we emanate, and not to get like religious or anything, but if we emanate from a divine source that is infinite, everything in the human experience is finite. It's temporal. It's mortal. Mm. And so what we're trying to do is to find that a uh, sense of infinite perfection in a limited capacity, which is impossible to do. Mm -hmm. And so, and so oftentimes we're led, we're seduced into this track of trying to express perfection in what we do, as opposed to the antithesis, which is I'm letting go of the desire to be perfect, which actually I surrender into my deeper spiritual infinite self what are we here to do like we have do we live these experiences are we is that beneficial for me like this guy used to travel a ton and then he realizes that when i'm in the moment where i'm like with that one person when i'm in that one location everything means more right mm -hmm. and it's it's this constant search to that purpose um so you know to Fancy's point like what why should we why should we even go to that road of finding the purpose, right? I, I believe that we're seeking our, our nature. I believe that we are seeking our fullness. So when we feel a sense of incompleteness, we're, seek, we're seeking for that purpose that fills us up the most. And by filling us up the most, what I mean is that we become more like our true spiritual selves. So if we feel, if, and if you look at this psychologically, all of us have experienced some type of childhood wound. That childhood wound lends itself to limiting stories, limiting beliefs that we think about ourselves, which therefore feels like an emptiness. It feels like a void. Like I was telling you before, I, my childhood wound is around not feeling seen. That's not actually true. It's not spiritually an absolute truth. That was a story right. I made up as a kid. So I yeah. felt this incompleteness and my desire, my nature, my seeking out of my purpose was to find that wholeness. Yeah. But that when it was my unique flavor of wholeness that I was searching for that felt on purpose, that felt now full. Now it feels like, you know, the cup spilleth over. The, <laughs> and now it's like, how do I share this with other people? That yeah. sense of peace, the joy, the, it's not that everything's perfect. I, there's shitty things that happen in my life today too. Yeah. But it's like, it's coming from a completely different place.